Good morning, my dear students. Myself, Manus Kumar Hazarika, and I am going to teach you the paper Financial Accounting for BCom first semester. Today, we are going to discuss about Unit 2, that is Measurement of Business Income. The syllabus for this portion is the Measurement of Business Income, that is Net Income, Application of Accounting Period, Continuity, Doctrine, and matching concept in the measurement of net income and also the objectives of measurement. Before that, we must know what is business income. So business income is the combination of two words, business and income. Business is an economic activity and income means what comes in. Thus business income means what comes in from an economic activity. Business income also denote as business profit or gain. According to American Accounting Association, business income means the increase in the net asset measured determined by the excess of revenue over expenses. Uh, that means business income means revenue minus expenses. Therefore, two basic elements influence the business income. First one is the revenue and second one is the expenses. Now, what is revenue? So, revenue in simple word means the total amount of money received from carrying out the business operation such as sales of goods and rendering services to customers. According to Accounting Standard 9 has defined revenue as the gross inflow of cash receivable and other consideration from rendering services from yielding interest commission royalties dividend during the accounting period and expenses in simple term it means outflow of cash or payables in accounting term expenses is an operational cost uh, that is paid or unpaid to earn revenue of an enterprise. The expenses which are incurred not for earning revenue under consideration, not regarded as expenses for the measurement of business income. That should be minded. Now we are going to discuss about the features of business income. We will discuss the main features of business income. Number one, income from normal business. Business income is the result of business transaction in ordinary course of activities. This is the income received from sales of goods and services and other transactions in normal course. Based on documentary evidence, business incomes are based on documentary evidence which include books of accounts and relevant vouchers. Earned income Income, the earning of which is not yet completed, is not regarded as business income. Uh, for example, advance receipt is not an income till the time of the transaction of sales is completed. Number four, based on accounting period concept. Business income is based on accounting period concept. In other words, it refers to the financial performance of the firm for a definite period, normally one financial year. Application of principle of revenue recognition. Business income is based on the recognitions and measure of measurement of revenue. It is based on the realization concept and ignores unrealized gain for by holding stock of goods or holding fixed assets. Application of matching concept. Business income is measured by applying matching concept. Only those expenses are matched with revenue which are incurred to earn this revenue in a particular period. What are the objectives of business? Uh, what are the objectives of measurement of business? Actually, what is the importance? You may say importance of measurement of business income or income measurement. First one, to measure the performance. The primary 
objective of business firm is to earn profit by legitimate operation. For this reason, a periodical measurement of performance of this business operation is necessary. This requires the measurement of business income and profit at a regular interval. Measurement of comparative efficiency. Another objective of income measurement is to measurement of comparative efficiency. Business income facilitates the comparison of the performance of two or more business firms or the same business over a period of time. Thus, it provides a suitable criteria for the efficiency of management in a competitive economy. Generally, such comparison is done by applying certain accounting tools like return on investment, dividend decision, and important objectives of business income measured to decide how much profit can be distributed as dividend and how much should be retained. The profit influence the expectation of the investors and prospective investors about the future prospect of the company. The prospective investor look to the income of the business enterprise as a guide to his investment decision in the future. Basic for taxation. Tax is the statutory payment. Business firms are required to pay tax on profit. Therefore, periodical measurement of income is required in order to determine the tax liability of the business. Accounting helps in measuring the income of the business enterprise for tax purpose. Indicator of managerial efficiency. The trend of income earning indicates the success of management. The efficiency of management as decision maker aims as task three of the resources is judged by profit earned and profitability of the company. The measurement of business income therefore provides a suitable criterion for judging the efficiency of management in a competitive company. Measurement of overall efficiency and credit worthiness. Financial statements are used and analyzed by the stakeholder to decide upon the efficiency and credit worthiness of the company's company income in a useful measure of overall efficiency and credit worthiness of creditors, banks, and other credit institutions. That depends upon the current profit level that act as an indicator of the firm's ability to repay loans out of the future income. Payment of bonus to worker. Business firms usually distribute bonuses to the workers on the basis of profit earned. The bonus paid to workers is based on the income measured by the business enterprise. Therefore, proper measurement of business income and profit is necessary. Future investment decision. One of the important objectives of income measurement is to use for future investment plans. Current income serves as a guide for investment decision in future. Decisions regarding expansion and further investment in business are based on the current income to maximize melt return of investment. Help in meeting corporate social responsibility. The amount to be spent on corporate social responsibility depends in certain cases on the amount of net profit earned by the company, even where it is not directly linked with the amount of net profit, the management may spend more amount on corporate social responsibility if the company earn a high amount of profit. Formulation of government policy. Tax, tax revenues are the main source of revenue for the government. The government formulates its fiscal policy taking into consideration the amount of net profit earned by the business enterprise. Now, how to measure the business income, the procedure for determining the business income. Number first step in the first step, determination of accounting period. 
as per the going concern concept and continuity doctrine, an entity is assumed to be continue its activity for a fairly long period in the future unless there is evidence to the contrary. But users of accounting information need the information periodically. Therefore, for providing timely information, the indefinite life of the business is divided into shorter intervals. These shorter intervals are called accounting period. The accounting period normally based on a time span of one year. As per the law of income tax, the accounting period of the business starts from April to 31st March, which is also known as financial year. Then second stage, we have to recognize the revenue that is related with revenue recognition or realization of revenue. The second stage in the measurement of business income is the identification of revenue relating to the accounting period. Revenue are recognized on the basis of the realization concept. Accounting standard 9 deal with the recognition of revenue in simple words. The revenue is recognized or realized or realized at the time of the title of the good change or service rendered. In the third stage, recognition of expenses and matching principle. The start in third stage, the measurement of income is identified of identification of expenses and matching the cost with revenue. An expense is incurred when goods or services are consumed. The process of earning revenue. The expenses recognition in the period in which association associate revenue is recognized. The matching principles required that revenue and expenses are recognized for an accounting period on a certain basis. It may be a cash basis accrual basis or hybrid basis. Matching concept or matching cost concept with revenue on the on an accrual basis is the most appropriate basis. Therefore, accrual is one of the fundamental assumptions of accounting as per accounting standard one. Now, the method of measuring business income. There are basically two methods, net worth method and matching principle. As per the net worth method, the net worth that is capital of a business enterprise at the end of the accounting period is compared with the same at the beginning of the accounting period. If capital at the account end of the accounting period is more than the opening capital, there is a profit for the business enterprise. Or if the capital in the beginning is more than the closing capital, there will be a loss. And according to matching principle, under this method, the income of a business enterprise is determined by matching revenue and expenses pertaining to a given accounting period. This method is based on income statement for matching cost with revenue first Revenue are recognized, then cost incurred for generation, those revenues are recognized, then match the revenue with the expenses. In this way, we can measure the business income. Thank you. For this class, we conclude here and we'll discuss the next part in other video. Thank you very much.